Hey guys, I'm back again with a brand new video for you all. Today, I wanted to showcase Diggersby in the Summer Cup for you guys. And it is kind of a good Pokemon to use in the Summer Cup. My team is going to be Diggersby and Skeledurge at the back with Charger Buck in the lead. Definitely going to be weak against Rock users, especially ABA weak against Rock users. And I wanted to showcase Diggersby, but Skeledurge is the one who stole the show. And the highlight of this video is going to be both Skeledurge and Diggersby. And I hope you're gonna like this content. So without any further ado, let's start the video. Let's go, fat boy Diggersby in the action. Will he charge a buck against the water poison? That is going to be Toxapex and they come in with their cradley. Now, as soon as I saw that rock typing there, I came in with my Diggersby because Diggersby is a ground type, but it didn't happen good to us because it's also a grass type now this is really not good for us i just and i try to bait which is not going to be good for us because they don't shield it now the problem is before we reach to the earthquake they are going to reach to their uh, move and at this point even a rock slide would knock us out and we still don't know what their third pokemon is this is just a mid game and i come in with my skeledurge i was thinking like uh okay i'm gonna tank one and i'm gonna shield one so let me just shield the first rock slide <clears throat> and I'm gonna tank one. This is going to be a crazy gameplay. I know that. I tried to hit the disarming voice, but now I'm gonna now that I've ate one, I'm gonna just farm this thing down and another incinerator is gonna take that thing out. And yeah, definitely they'll come back with their uh Toxapex. <clears throat> and I bank my energy into my uh Skeletor and then come in with my charger buck and throw this discharge now let's see if they decide to shield and they don't shield it they take the super effective move and they're staying in and i don't know what they've got at the back so i'm gonna shield this that's gonna be the sludge wave and all our shields are gone and they still have two shields and they are letting us farm energy now not completely but they came into it their vigorous so they had vigorous at the back i throw the first accessor here uh, all i need to do is take their two shields that's what i do here I take the one with this one i've got double loaded here and this will take one and this is with this accessor will take another shield now remember we've got two moves stored in our skeletor right so i do the combo play i snipe with my disarming voice from skeletor and they don't die so i hit the disarming voice this was the cmp for the second one they tried to hit the uh, body slam but i win it and just one internet will do the job against this toxapex and we take the victory there ggs Another game, it's a charger bug mirror, mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the baddest of them all? Alright, so I come in with my diggers with the quick attack as the fast move, and I throw the earthquake. They come in with their uh, Vigoroth. I throw the earthquake against their Vigoroth, and they take it. Alright, they take the earthquake, and <clears throat> they will uh, have to throw the multiple moves here because Rock Slide is going to be resisted, and they'll have to throw like two body slams from this point i throw the fire punch i shielded one there and they shield they match the shield there the thing is uh, i was wondering if i'll get to another body uh, i mean another fire punch if this body slam lands and unfortunately i will not get to there now i was thinking they still don't have energy for a body slam i throw the full switch with my charge box and they come back with their charger box so I let them hit, I eat the move here, and then come in with my Skeletorch, and let's see what they've got at the back, they're staying for a little bit, and they've got Toxapex at the back, so I throw the Shadow Ball against this guy, <clears throat> the thing is, I will have to shield the water move, the water move from this, so, uh, I throw the Shadow Ball, I don't try to bait, no risk, no risk, I shield the Brian, and straight go for the Shadow Ball, uh, over farming just one, incinerate, and let's see if they shine. yeah they definitely shield that and the thing is i will survive the move here they get to their move i will survive the move and all i need to do is i need to bank the energy and i come in with my charger bug i snipe with uh discharge throwing one volt switch i have a shadow ball loaded in my skeletor so all i need to do is bring bring this guy to shadow ball range <clears throat> and they throw the x scissor against my Charger bug, I throw my axes against their charger bug, and this guy will be in scale, uh, shadow ball range after this. Now that is already in disarming voice range, so they throw the energy here. I would have reached, they were scared, I would have reached to axes, and now yeah, I, I could have just thrown the sh disarming voice, but I throw the shadow ball, 
and we won this game by 1 HP. That was a close one. <clears throat> it's gonna be Stunfisk lead. A lot of Stunfisk. This is definitely gonna be Vigoroth and Stunfisk Cup, you know. <laughs> and, and I've also seen a lot of guys running Rock Throw in their... What is that guy? Uh, the Rock and Fire Pokemon Slugmas Evolve. I forgot the name, man. I have a habit of forgetting things, man. Uh, Macargo, right? Macargo. So this team is a bit weak against Macargo, but Diggersby can do good against Macargo. And yeah, I come in with my Diggersby, saving a little health on my Charger Bug. The Stunfisk was their lead. They throw the Mud Bomb and come in with their. All right, Sunflora. Oh yeah, I remember this game, Sunflora. So this, what this guy does is doesn't shield a super effective move, the first one there, and very interesting thing that this guy throws poison type attack against my ground type. That's not the attack you want to throw against a ground type Pokemon. That's really not the way to go. They might have brought the wrong Pokemon or the wrong, I don't know, the wrong move sets. This is a grass type Pokemon. They definitely need to have the grass move right. So they just keep throwing these sludge bombs and uh, they are a shield down and I come in with my scatter dodge just to farm them with one incinerator and take them out. They will reach to their move. This stun will reach to their move and I'm gonna shield the super effective mud bomb. And they have a talent flame at the back. Now what I do is I throw the shadow ball. Uh, they sneak a five turn move there but that doesn't matter because I catch the move in my charger bug. I caught the move in my, the flame charge in my charger bug and now I can just farm them. Uh, okay, I threw the energy to grab the shield there. Oh, uh, yeah, so I just need to shield this. My incinerator registered there, which will knock them out. And I, all I need to do is just throw the uh, disarming voice against this guy and I can win this game. So, GG's. So, moving on to another game here. This is going to be Polyrath against my Charger Bug, which is good for us because they are water type and we're. And they catch this Excessor into the Quagsire. Well, this is not registered, but they catch it. And I come in with my Diggers. Now, the thing is, they've got Aquatail. Let's see if they're running Aquatail or Mod Bomb. They're running Aquatail, which is going to be super effective for, against us. And I. Reach to the earthquake. It is a CMP time for the, this move, and what I do here is I need to farm a little more to be able to throw a move against their polyrath. So I undercharge there, and not letting them go for four more shots, or else they would have reached their aqua tail. So that was the kind of uh, perfect undercharge, but not that perfect. Uh, well, I'm not the kind of guy who. <laughs> who says his own, own undercharge is, is perfect i'm not judging myself <laughs> just joking all right <clears throat> so yeah i threw the fire punch uh, the fire punch didn't matter that much yeah and i come in with a skelly they have a, all right they come in with their charger and this charger at the back is gonna get punished now what i need to do is shield the moves and it doesn't matter if i go over 100 energy at this point because I need to farm this thing all the way down to grab both shields from this polyrath. Just go for the disarming voice. They are definitely gonna shield this. I go for another one. They are definitely gonna shield this. Now the thing is they are forced to throw the energy. Or else I'm gonna reach to another disarming voice. Yeah, they are forced to throw the energy and they are forced to throw the skull. Yeah, they throw the skull there and all I need to do is just throw the move with my charger bug. To take the victory and they surrender ggs all right so next move i mean next match it's a beautiful looking shiny and center roar and the silly thing that i do is throw the discharge and this thing definitely can tank the move and i don't shield here that's the silly thing i do i don't i don't shield <laughs> it's going to be the blast burn right everyone in the world knows that's going to be the blast burn because the moves that it's running is going to be Darkest Lariat and Blast Burn. So, I don't know why didn't I shield there. Uh, no. One Pokemon took one and a half Pokemon of our side. <laughs> More than one and a half. 
more than half health of Diggers P and they come in with their victory build. I throw the fire punch, I grab the shield, and then I come in with my Skeletors. They had a Greninja at the back. Now this is bad for us, but not bad. This is actually good because two to one shields with disarming boys, we can take this match. We can take this matchup. Uh, you guys can see here. I throw the first disarming voice there that takes the shield, and I can shield whatever this is going to be. Two to one shield. I win even though it's a water. It is also a dark ride, and we've got disarming voice. That's the advantage of having coverage move. So yeah, this game is already over at this point. We'll come to reach the shadow ball, and we take the victory there. And uh, yeah, moving on to another game. We still got some more games left. Oh, it's going to be a very good lead for us. That's uh, Jelly Saint. And they come in with their Charger. And I come in with my uh, Scatter Dodge. I wanted to showcase the Digger Speed in this uh, video. But our hero uh, the, who stole the show is going to be <laughs> Scatter Dodge. So many clutch victories with Scatter Dodge, man. <laughs> Sorry, Digger Speed. But Digger is still doing good, right? And it doesn't, it didn't matter if I go past 100, I just farm them down just by fast moves. And I throw the Shadow Ball here, they're forced to double shield here because I got, uh, I will get to double there. Ah, uh, yeah, they're, they're forced to shield there, right? They shield it. And I come in with my Diggers. This might be a mistake. Uh, I saved my. Skeletorch, but we've seen what Skeletorch can do with shield, right? So I decided to come in with my diggers and they are not swapping. So I was thinking, all right, what they've got weak to diggers be? What might it be? And I was like, is it like ghost because we're normal or is it like rock and steel or uh, something? Else? I don't know. Is it like charger? Now they stay here for a longer time. Now I'm going to wait until the timer's up and comfortably come in with my charger and I throw the discharge they don't try to catch it they don't swap let's see what they've got at the back and they've got Skeletorge at the back and can we reach to the shadow ball before they farm us down we reach to the shadow ball before they farm us down to take the victory to one shot this guy and we won this game with one shield Moving on to another game, Star Raptor just, just, just finally, just good lead for us, and they come in with their lantern, and I come in with my diggers. Uh, this is looking very good for us. Uh, just let them through the surf. Our fat boy is a little tanky fat boy. We got. Uh, I just tried to match their energy, but that was not the way to go. You don't go past 100 energy while farming. Be careful of that. And I just throw the earthquake. And they don't shield it, so investing one shield, we regain the switch. And they come in with their Star Raptor. Now this guy needs to shield any move. Anything, right? This guy is so glassy. Look at those quick attacks doing. Just a fast moves. And this is going to be the fly, which is gonna take our fat boy out. We definitely come in with our charger bug and they come in with their Quagsire. Now this is not looking good for us. Quagsire with Stone Edge. And the water and ground move can beat both Charger Bug and Scatter Dirge. So I try to catch the move here. But uh, I don't think it's a catch. They threw the Stone Edge. Uh, yeah, they would have thrown the Stone Edge anyways against uh, Charger Bug, right? So uh, what I did here was just I wanted to sack my Scatter Dirge in order to win this game. So now I was waiting. I threw the x scissor here. The only win con is I <laughs> wait, wait them to catch and uh, wait them to make the mistake and that's what they did there they try to catch there so i can farm two more volt switch and throw the discharge to knock this guy out and just shield the stone edge correctly and throw this excisor to take the victory now from this range excisor is going to be enough now if they stayed with quagsire and didn't try to catch they might have won that game right they might have won that game and it's a talent lead not that great for us, so I come in with my Skeletorch as a safe swap, and it's a Greninja. Not good for us, right? So, only 2 to 1 shield we can win. We cannot win 2 to 2 shield, so what I'm gonna do here is try to grab those shields and then go down to another move. And I got a video call there. I get to second disarming voice, and. <clears throat> 
and sorry for the video call <laughs> i keep getting those video calls and messages as i said i don't have separate separate phone for the game and definitely i come here with my charge bug you've got the move and it might be the hydro cannon uh, but the, that was night slash and the thing is i'll reach the discharge before them it will not one shot but it is going to do a lot of super effective damage uh, as you can see and i come with my degree to catch the flame charge which is going to be resisted and i just found them down with fast moves and I throw the fire punch here, which is going to be resisted. And again, I got the video call. I was like distracted. Oh my gosh, what is happening? And they throw the hydro cannon here, which will knock us out from this range. And we get one volt switch of energy there. And they've got Venusaur at the back. Now, one Exceser is not going to be enough. And I will not reach to another Exceser before they reach to their Frenzy plan, which will knock uh, Frenzy or Sludge Bomb. Which will knock us from this range so yeah our, we lose their ggs to our opponents and that is it guys i hope you like the content and if you like my contents then please do subscribe to the channel and yeah do leave a like and comment and if you want your battle videos to be shortcasted in the channel then please send me your battle videos the link is in the description and do join our uh, discord server the link is in the description so thank you so much guys